I'm Louise Clark and welcome to the Non-Essential Project. Yeah! Okay, we're going to jump into these questions. <laughs> My job is I'm a circus performer and trainer. I've worked for lots of different companies, so it's kind of hard to like say whether what exactly you are because it's always an evolving thing. I agree. <laughs> How long have you been creating? Um, I was always really into creativity, into art, into dance growing up. When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be like a famous artist or a fashion designer. Uh, when I was a kid, I did Royal Academy of Dance, QUT, Queensland University of Technology, and I did a Bachelor of Creativity and majored in um, art history and visual arts. I met a circus performer, and then I went to Circle Arts in New Zealand. I did a diploma of circus there, and then I trained in Montreal after that. Circus before me, you're always training and you're always learning all the time, so I feel like as if it's almost like a lifelong education. I've pretty much been working in the creative field my whole adult life. I grew up on a farm, <laughs> so I got my first job at 12 and it was um, fixing um, cotton module tarpaulins for a company. Um, <laughs> and then pretty much, you know, I would do cotton chipping and grape picking, any kind of farm labour. <laughs> what do you love about your job? I love that I get to put a positive uh, energy out into the world. I get to be creative with not just my mind, I get to be creative with my body as well. It kind of like was a dream when I met Circus. It was like wow I can be physical with my body and I can be creative with my body and it, it was just like this magic. I just love the people. I love like my Circus family and my friends. Political comment I guess. I like uh, not all my stuff has political comment, but I like to have shows that say something, that engage with people, that connect with people. I don't know, there's so many things to love about it, really. <laughs> and I get to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> who do you depend upon in your life and who are you closest to? Obviously, like, I'm close with my family, but I think I have a much more closeness with my circus family because they know me through and through. I know that I can talk to them about things that they won't judge me at all. There's definitely things that I haven't told my family and friends about <laughs> that aren't in the circus community. Andy, right? Obviously Andy knows everything. <laughs> my fiance, yes. He's lovely and yeah, he's a great soul. And obviously my dog. I tell him everything. <laughs> now what did your year look like before the pandemic hit? So what were your plans? It kind of was affected before the pandemic hit because of the bushfires. I lost about seven gigs for that. So I was pretty stressed out because I was meant to be getting married in April and those seven gigs were meant to pay for a lot of things. <laughs> How did your priorities shift when the pandemic hit? I wanted everyone that I knew to be safe. Work-wise, uh, I just helped the company Circus Monoxide that I work for to put stuff online. Keep the arts alive, really, by helping companies like that. It's gonna help everyone, really. I was teaching for them online, working out, <laughs> trying to anyway. <laughs> trying to stay fit. Um, just trying to keep my mental well-being okay, really. I'm not used to being stuck. Like, this is the first year in Australia for the whole year. Another thing about enjoying circus is that you constantly, you can go anywhere. 
you keep moving around. It's exciting, it's adventurous. And this was really unadventurous, <laughs> staying at home. Um, I definitely felt stuck in the sense of like, you kind of see your life crumbling around you and you're like, Jesus, how do I fix this? How do I keep a progression going? Because, you know, you're constantly wanting to progress each year in something. And then, you know, I did feel a sanctuary because, you know, this is mine and Andy's little home and we got a dog. Bougie, <laughs> and he's definitely made it a family. What advice would you give to someone looking at getting into the arts? I would say be aware that it's not an easy industry and that you have to constantly be working at it. Pushing all the time to get work, to make sure that you are viable, to work on your skills, to diversify your skills constantly. Your fingers in all the pies. Do roving and I'm going to have kid shows and I'm going to have a family show and I've got to have all this stuff just so that you're constantly making money. And then just be aware that it is really, really, really hard work, but it's rewarding. You love it? Love it. <laughs> so we're just going to do a little, so this is kind of a fun part, a word association. So I just want you to say the first thing that pops into your head, okay? Oh God. <laughs> Pandemic. Bougie. Essential. Water. Lockdown. Couch. <laughs> Isolation. Loneliness. Community. Circus. Chores. Cleaning the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Music. Uh, 90s dance party. <laughs> Green. Trees. Important. Um, love. Baby. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Yeah. This is my baby. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>